Anybody who knows Ty Hawkins knows he loves dogs. So this next segment is right up his alley. Bark in the Park is coming. It is, John. Ma May, I'm thinking my date's here, March 18th. Today is March 18th. Bark in the Park is May 18th. Got that right. I love dogs, but I got to work on the calendar. But we got exclusive breaking news you'll only see right here on the 9 a.m. Bark on the Park, and we've got the person who's going to be, or the, the dog who's going to be the mascot. Robin Dexter joins us. Good morning, Robin. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing great. So we are two months away. I wanted to speed things up a little bit, put a little more stress on you guys. Like, you know, no things to worry about. We're yeah, we're not ready yet. <laughs> not ready yet. You can be ready today, Robin. But Bark in the Park, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, fundraiser for you guys. Yes, absolutely. The Bark in the Park raises critical funds for our Animal Cruelty Task Force. These are the folks who are on the ground 24-7, 365, helping animals in cases of abuse and neglect across Missouri. How many people do we hope to see in their pooches at Bark in the Park? Uh, hopefully hundreds. Hundreds? Yes. Oh, thousands. Let's make it work. Let's it go. Work I'm right? ready. <laughs> so when they, people go to the Bark in the Park, what can they expect this year? Oh, a little bit of everything. We'll have the Purina Incredible Dog Team there. They've been our presenting sponsor for 29 years. We love Purina. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's the biggest pet festival in the Midwest, so we have all kinds of activities that are fun for both you and your dogs. We did get this right. In a Fox 2, 9 a.m. exclusive. Tim, you're on vacation, but you're missing who's going to be the mascot. This is the mascot this year. Pan a camera over the mascot, please. <laughs> Who is this right here, Robin? This is Birdie. Birdie is an eight-year-old dachshund. She was adopted from the Humane Society of Missouri seven years ago. Oh, she is a sweetheart. Now, what kind of responsibilities does she have with this prestigious honor? Yeah, so she is going to be uh, leading our Walk for Animals. We have a 5K and a one-mile fun run that morning, and she's going to be kicking that off. She's also going to be on this year's T-shirt. I had last year's on today, and she's going to have her face on a shirt just like this. So if we go to Bark in the Park, we get this shirt with Birdie you on do. it? You do. You do. Wow. That is what I'm talking. <laughs> we love a good t-shirt. We love we do. a good wiener dog. Yeah. So Birdie, how did you decide Birdie out of, how many um, contestants did you have applying for this uh, mascot? Yeah, we had more than 80 people submit their pets for the mascot contest this year. We narrowed it down to four finalists, wow. and the public chose Birdie. Look at that mug right there. You can get that mug on a t-shirt. It's going down on May 18th. When and where do we need to be? Yeah, so visit hsmo.org slash bark to register. Uh, through the end of April, you can register for $25. That's that early bird pricing. After that, it's going to be $35. So, yeah, we hope to see everyone there, and, and you'll get to meet Birdie. She'll be kicking it all off. Now, all the funds go directly to the Humane Society of Missouri's Animal Cruelty Task Force? That's correct. So this is a good cause right here. Absolutely, absolutely. What's exciting about this for someone who may not have been to Bark in the Park before? Oh, it's just it's just a fun day. Like oh. it's all very yeah, it's all very lighthearted. Um, you get to see so many different kinds of dogs. It's just it's just a great atmosphere. And Birdie, she's got quite the little strut. Can we get her down on the ground? <laughs> so you're gonna get an idea of what she's gonna be leading the brigade on May 18th. Look at that little ball of joy. <laughs> go, Birdie, go! <laughs> now she's a rescue, right? She is, yeah. She actually uh, volunteers with our humane education classes, too. So mm -hmm. she's a great ambassador for, for what we're about. She is a doll, and she is the winner of the mascot this year. She's going to be on a t-shirt. We want to make sure you guys get over to Bark in the Park. It's happening May 18th, not March 18th. <laughs> May 18th, but this, on this March 18th, this is the winner, Elite Birdie. She's going to be on a t-shirt. <laughs> Eight years old, the winner of the mascot this year. Bark in the Park, all the proceeds go to the Humane Society of Missouri. That's correct. And it's a great cause. And if we can't make it to Bark in the Park, but we'd like to donate, where do we need to go? Yeah, you can still visit that that same uh, webpage, hs, hsmo.org slash bark. Uh, you're welcome to register even if you can't make it, and, and we'll accept that donation, absolutely. Thank you for joining <laughs> us this morning. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks Sorry for having us. Appreciate up. it. Thank you for bringing Birdie in. <laughs> She's a little camera shy right now. She's got a big couple of months to start getting ready for. She does. That's Birdie. She's gone to the dogs, Bert. <laughs> We're back with more Fox News in the morning, the 9 a.m. after the break.